welcome to Griffin Park for what is unquestionably Brentford's most important game of the season. To put it simply, Brentford must win today. A defeat would not automatically relegate them, but it would make their task almost impossible. Brentford will be looking for six points from their final two games of the season. A home today against Barnsley and away next Saturday at Bristol City to help secure their first division place. A place that took them 38 years of sweat to achieve and the fans will be totally disconsolate and angry if all those efforts come to nothing and the season ends in relegation. So in fact, it is in fact out of Brentford's hands to some degree. Results elsewhere must also go in Brentford's favour, but six points would, would give Brentford 52 points and that might well be enough to keep them in this division. And Gary Blissett has been voted Players' Player of the Year. That's always, I believe, the most valuable award, the ones where your peers, your fellow professionals vote for you. And Gary Blissett, with 26 goals, is the Players' Player of the Year. And with his contract up at the end of the season, Brentford fans hope and pray that he'll be still be here next season. So Keith Millen and Billy Manuel win the Programme Award for the Player of the Year. They share it, in fact. Billy Manuel in his second year at Griffin Park has had a wonderful season. Keith Millen, of course, is Mr. Consistency. Congratulations to them both. There's a popular winner. Billy Manuel has epitomised what football is all about. Guts, effort, energy and consistency. Brentford's opponents today are Barnsley. A solid workmanlike team, safe from relegation in 13th place with 57 points from their 44 games. They've won five times away from home but have lost their last two away league matches including a 6-0 hammering at Champions-elect Newcastle United. I'm almost ready to go. Last check on the uh, watch from the referee and we're away. Barnes do play a sweeper system. Ready to be seen whether it's number three Gary Fleming or number five Jerry Taggart who fulfills that role. Good ball to Blissett, it's got a one-on-one. -on -one. And a fine save by Whitehead. Blissett tricked his man and shot. But it has to be said, a little bit too close to the keeper. And Phil Whitehead turned it over the bar. Gareth Williams, back to Robinson. And Barnes this ball. Well, the that was a bit of confusion there because the referee seemed to give the throw to Barnsley and Brentford took it, but they could make nothing of it. Charlie Bishop hammers the ball upfield. Millen up above. Biggins. And a good tackle from Kenny Sanson. And a good advantage from Mr. Singh. But Bishop read the ball better than Gale. Biggins got a chance. Well, not far past the post. Turn Millen well. And Wayne Biggins, always a danger, always a goal scorer. Nearly made a half chance into something there. Bennett on the near post. Miller makes the run and O'Connell goes with him. Statham, flat, Evans pushing. And Blissett somehow didn't score. Evans got a touch and Blissett should have scored. But Whitehead was alert. Evans headed down. Blissett nipped in, but he couldn't meet the keeper. And Brentford again being profligate with their chances at a time when they can least afford to be so. 
Headed away, Manuel. Out to Smiley. Good cross. And it's in, it's Gary Blissett. A great goal for Brentford and Neil Smiley is back on 18 minutes. He got the ball from Billy Manuel. He taunted his defender. He got the ball into the box. And there was Gary Blissett stealing in with his fourth chance of the game. And he glanced the ball in for his 27th goal of the season. So on 19 minutes, Brentford are ahead. And nobody can say they don't deserve it. Billy Manuel recovered. The game starts with a throw to Barnsley. Fleming takes. Not back to Charlie Bishop. Miller's got to play that. And a great goal. A great foot goal. And it looks like Gary Williams, I think, has equalised. From O'Connell's cross. Well, oh, Brentford were taken by surprise. The ball was played down the touchline. Cross beyond the far post. And after 25 minutes, Barnsley are back in the game. Fleming allowed to turn and concedes the throw. Sanson could take the long throw here. Evans going up. And the ball seemed to go through everyone. Headed clear by Redfern, but to Dickens. He's got Statham with him. That's where it goes. Statham has to knock it. it over the bar well that was like in slow motion Statham knocked it in the ball cleared Jerry Taggart and Gary Blissett seemed to stop look up take aim and then deliberately lob the ball over Whitehead and over the bar really Brentford have been totally on top and I think if anything it should be two up rather than being 1-1 lovely header from Billy Manuel to Smiley. He's got three men. Really, the referee is waving. The lines are waving for offside. Oh, a nice ball. And it's Denial Graham. Turns it wide. Lovely ball from Biggins. And Brentford caught on the break as they were when Barnes equalised. Between them, Dickens and Bennett lose out to uh, Redfern. To Biggins. Nice turn. Back to Redfern. Sanson's got to win that. And doesn't. O'Connell. Gets it back. Oh, and that was inches wide from Wayne Bullimore. It's Barnsley playing some neat football. Peyton looking for Blissett. Oh, great touch from Dickens. Oh, and a fantastic save from the goalkeeper, Mickey Bennett. Well, Dickens won the ball beautifully on the edge of the box. Studs were very high, but he got it ball wide to Mickey Bennett. And again, Phil Whitehead, for the third time, came to Barnsley's rescue. As Bennett caught it well. Maybe he caught it too well. Maybe he could have bobbled it in. Billy Manuel with the corner, stay them on the line. And he's given handball, it's a penalty! Well, Brentford have got a penalty. 
Now, who is going to take it? Because Joe Allen is the Brentford penalty taker. It looks like it's going to be Gary Blissett. And Swansea, are st uh, Swansea uh, Barnsley are still protesting. And Wayne Biggins looks like he's going into the book. Now, the ball was headed on at the near post. And then a hand seemed to go up from a Barnsley defender. As Biggins looks like he's getting booked. And Gary Blissett, score of one penalty this season in three efforts. Could score his 28th goal of the season. Can he put Brentford back in the lead? He does! Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Whitehead dive right. And Gary Blissett's second goal of the game is 28th of the season, puts Brentford back in front after 37 minutes. And the crowd let out a collective sigh of relief. Begins can turn. Still no rules in danger and Statham hooks it away. Brentford getting penned in their own box. We'll head it back. It won't come down for Graham. At last, Evans gets it away. Off Gale's chest. Oh, a terrible ball from Gale. And he's given Barnsley a chance now. Oh, and smothered from Neil Redfern. And that was down to Marcus Gale. And he acknowledges it. Good save from Jerry Payton there. Good crowd today, maybe around the 8,000 mark. Maybe slightly more, in fact. Does it go on? Bennett tried the spectacular. Now he can try the banal. And wasted it. Barnsley come away now. And a touch from Millen. Redfern with the throw. Gets it back. From Williams. Away from Kenny Sanson. And a good ball from Blissett. Can Gale get there? Well, referee's played advantage. And Smiley's got to lose it. Well... Really, that seemed to be a bit of a mugging from the substitute. Unless it's offside. It's offside. It won't count. Ball comes past this way again. It's time for Kenny Sanson. And Gale was after that. And he hit it well. And a very good save from the keeper. And no one was up in support to tuck away the loose ball. Redfern. Smiley from Sanson. Gives it away. Joe Allen and Taggart together. Can Allen score? He has! Joe Allen has scored from a long up and under. And he and Taggart went for it. And the Browns went Brentford's way. It came off Joe Allen's shoulder, I believe. And he was through. And with 24 minutes gone in the second half, Joe Allen's 11th goal of the season. The sixth goal in the league. His first goal since he scored two at Molyneux. And at last, Brentford have got that two-goal cushion. Bennett stays back. Sanson stays back. So it's 3-1.
three back. Only two up for Barnsley, Emmanuel. Oh, and Evans got him well, and he couldn't quite guide it down. That would have been a lovely goal. That was a foul by Manuel. Leaning in on this man. Silly foul. An obvious one. Taking short to Bullimore. Taggart. Young Nick Eden. Settled down very well. Higgins. The ball hoofed out, but... Oh, and a good effort, swirling effort from young Nicky Eden. Looked like it was going straight at the keeper, but it just keep moving, and uh, it's a goal kick. And I think Brentford are going to win this one. The first home victory for 12 games, and that's it! Brentford have won! Brentford three, Barnsley one, and it all hinges on the last game of the season at Bristol City next week.